everyone, Jeff here from Films at Home. Today, I've got a very exciting 4K review to do for you. I just got this in from Warner Brothers literally um, this afternoon, and I was excited to pop this right in and check it out. We've got Stanley Kubrick's The Shining in 4K Ultra HD. Uh, I, I was so excited to get this one in. It was on my, my most anticipated uh, 4K releases of 2019. I've been waiting forever to check this out because it checks all the boxes of things I like. It's an older movie that's getting a 4K remaster, the HDR, and it's a classic. It's all the things that I love about the 4K format is making these movies look incredible in your home. And Warner Brothers, um, you know, disappointed me a little bit in my last review of Gremlins. And so I'm excited to see if they can redeem themselves here with The Shining. I feel like they will, but we're going to check out the video. We'll check out the new 4K remaster and we'll uh, talk a little bit about the audio as well as a couple different packaging options and some of the special features uh, available on this disc as well as what comes with the package itself. So that'll be it for the review. I'm going to jump right into the video here in a second. Before I do that, if you do like 4K collecting and 4K movies and home theater content, this is the channel for you. Please click the subscribe button. We just hit 14,000, which is an awesome number, but we're on to 15, 20, 30, 40, 50. We're just gonna keep growing. I can't do it without the subscribers who have already subscribed, so thank you. But if you haven't yet, hit the subscribe button and turn on the notifications so you know when my videos post. With that being said, let's jump into the video. So for the video on The Shining, we get a, a pretty good disc here. Um, first thing I want to talk about is just the resolution upgrade that 4K allows you to have. Obviously, The Shining was uh, released in 1980, was shot on film. And so what the uh, team did here from Warner Brothers, they did this in collaboration with uh, Steven Spielberg, first of all, helped out, as well as one of Stanley Kubrick's longtime assistants, because obviously Stanley Kubrick is no longer with us. Um, and so the two of them worked with the Warner Brothers team on the 4K restoration, and they went back to the original 35 millimeter film negatives, and they worked directly from that source. So that's always a great start. Whenever you hear about a 4K release being worked on from the original negatives, that is an A+. plus. That's exactly what you want to hear. Now, watching this and comparing it to my Blu-ray version um, that I have from probably 2009, uh, so it's, an, it's a new, I should say it's an older Blu-ray. It was new when the format came out. It was newer. Um, and there's definitely a, a nice upgrade on grain structure and just overall clarity and detail on this 4K release compared to that Blu-ray. Now, I don't know who worked on the Blu-ray. I don't really know the specifications behind how that was done. But here you're getting a very clean picture. Stanley Kubrick, obviously a master of, you know, and his cinematography team, just masterful stuff. And so it looks beautiful. Uh, film grain is, uh, you know, nice. There's, there's a good structure to it where it's not overly grainy. There are some scenes where you get a lot of grain. Remember, it was shot on film, so you're going to see grain. If you don't like that, you're not going to like any movie shot on film. Um, but it is a lot more detailed. It's crisper. It's finer. Um, it's more well-rounded picture than what the Blu-ray gave us. For the HDR, that's also where I saw a noticeable improvement. So this disc has both Dolby Vision and HDR 10 Plus. So that's a thumbs up for that, no matter which format you know you prefer or which format your TV player, receiver, whatever you can handle. Um, you're gonna be able to get regular HDR 10, obviously, but also 10 Plus and Dolby Vision. So that's a huge thumbs up. Um, I checked out the Dolby Vision and you know I thought it was really good. It's just a little different. Um, there, there seemed to always be a kind of bluish, grayish tint to the uh, previous Blu-ray. And anytime I'd watch the movie on other formats, it has this kind of blue-gray tint to it. And that was definitely removed with this new release. It's a little warmer uh, of a picture. So you're getting, a, you know, it's a little more orangey red tinted than it is bluish gray. Um, sort of like if you're editing a photo on your iPhone and you go to the um, the warmth setting and turn that down or turn it up, you'll start to see the tint change. It's definitely a warmer color palette. Um, things, you know, definitely look better in terms of color 
Um, one of the things that really stood to me was that famous patterned rug that really pops off the screen now. The reds and the yellows really stick out. Um, there's also some really good use of HDR at the ending where they're kind of running around outside in the snow. That was really well done and much clearer with the better black levels and uh, gray uniformity that you get from having HDR color on this 4K disc compared to the Blu-ray. I also noticed it in a few other scenes. One that really struck me was the famous uh, scene where the blood comes pouring out of the elevators. That is a, a bright red. That was much better than the Blu-ray. I went to that scene right away because I said, wow, you know, red's a really striking color. I could see the difference in the rug and the pattern. Um, I wonder how much that's gonna pop in that scene. And it does, it really pops. Um, the only thing really that I could note is it's just, it, it would just be a matter of personal preference on the warmth of that image. If you did prefer the older bluish gray, cooler image, you are going to get a, a definite change here. You know, if you're used to watching this Blu-ray and you've seen it 10, 15 times, it could be a little jarring when you watch this 4K for the first time, but I think it's a solid improvement. I think it's a good thing. It makes skin tones look a little more realistic. It makes everything feel a little more um, warm. And I, and I can see why you'd go with the kind of a colder, um, you know, tint to it because naturally they're in the mountains in the middle of the winter and it's kind of has that feel but um I, I think that the extra warmth here just helps with a lot of things like skin tones and interior shots and lighting and it helps brighten up the whole picture too which is really nice now for the audio um there isn't a noticeable upgrade here we're sticking with the dts hd master audio 5.1 track so um, nothing really to talk about here uh, upgraded. There's no Atmos. There's no even like 7.1. The 5.1 though, like I said, this movie is, you know, 1980. It's almost 40 years old. And that 5.1 DTS HD, that's a very good track. Um, by no means should that detract you from buying this, but it's just something to note. Um, audio files out there, if you were looking for the audio upgrade, unfortunately you do not get it with this release. Your biggest focus here and the biggest reason to purchase this 4K would be for the picture quality and the HDR. And that's definitely well worth the purchase, uh, but it's just something to note that the audio is not going to be an upgrade for you. Now for packaging, I've just got the standard packaging here from Warner Brothers with the slip cover. Uh, you know, there's some cool artwork on the front. I like what they did with Jack Torrance and the outline of them and you kind of have the hotel and Danny and, and all that. Uh, nice clean white. Uh, you know, red on the spines, looks really nice. And then some artwork on the back, the red rum, classic stuff. Um, same stuff on the on the case here. And then on the inside, this is pretty bare bones, which, eh, you know, I'm, I'm a little disappointed. It could have been a cool disc, but uh, you've got just the Blu-ray and the 4K, Blu-ray and red, 4K in black. Um, there is also a digital code that comes with this. And then for special features, there's a commentary track by the Steadicam inventor and operator, Garrett Brown. Now, what he has to do with this, I'm not exactly sure, um, but it's kind of just interesting. He's a big player in Hollywood movies, obviously, and historian John Baxter. So I assume because you can't get a lot of the people who are originally involved with the making of this, they've passed, you know, this is who they have. They have a historian talking about the movie. Also comes with Vivian Kubrick's uh, documentary, The Making of the Shining, with a commentary. And there's three featurettes. There's a view from the Overlook, Crafting the Shining. There's the visions of Stanley Kubrick and Wendy Carlos, composer. And so plenty of stuff to go around here in terms of special features and behind the scenes. Um, another option for packaging is there is a beautiful 4K steelbook coming to Best Buy where they're using the artwork on the front is that yellow um, maze that you see um, they use it, I think they used it on the poster originally, theatrical poster. If you've seen the documentary Room 237, I believe they use it as part of their marketing and their cover art is this yellow maze, which is, you know, supposed to be like the, this. it's just like this patterned yellow black. You'll know what I'm talking about when you see it. Um, but it's a really cool steel book. Uh, I, I do like that minimalist 
approach that they took to the steelbook i always think those are really clean and really cool and if you're a fan of the movie you know you don't need the shining plastered all over it with jack nicholson's face and and everything else and and you know you you just don't need that shelly duvall and, and the whole the whole cast you know what the movie's about so give me just a nice clean like a piece of art and that's what they did with that best buy steelbook so that's definitely a great option if you're into steelbooks and you want to grab the 4k i would check that one out it looks really really nice so overall this is a very good release from warner brothers again um you know I like the fact that they did a little bit with the artwork. I love the fact that the restoration was, you know, supervised by key people like Steven Spielberg, obviously, who's done great restorations of his own work with E.T., Close Encounters, Schindler's List, hopefully Jaws someday. Um, but he's done great work. He knows how to kind of handle this format, and he's done a good job taking those film prints and moving them over to 4K discs. So I kind of trust whatever he does now because everything I've reviewed that he's worked on has been incredibly well done. Uh, and, and overall, the use of the HDR, the Dolby Vision is really incredible. Um, you know, it looks better than some film prints that I've seen um, shown. And, and there's a theater in Somerville, Massachusetts that has shown the Shining film print. They have a 35 millimeter, I believe. Uh, maybe it was 70. I don't think the Shining is in 70, but they had a, they had a film print watching that this is better than that which is kind of crazy but you gotta remember you're coming from the negatives and all of those film prints all of those reels that were made would be considered positives they're copies of the negative they don't get the same amount of you know detail you can't pull the same amount of data from them that you can from the original negative negative. and so this probably looks you know i think stanley kubrick would be proud that's what i would say i think he would really like this 4k release um, you know, his previous one, uh, 2001, A Space Odyssey, which came to 4K, was one of the best I've ever seen. And The Shining is right up there. Um, you know, there are some moments, like I said, with the video that might be a little jarring if you're used to a certain color palette and tint. But I actually appreciated the change. I think it makes a lot of sense. And, you know, although there's no audio, this is, you know, sorry, there's definitely audio. <laughs> There's no audio upgrade. This is a very good package and Warner Brothers put a lot of time and effort into the restoration of the film. And so I would say support this 100%. This is worth an upgrade. If you're a horror fan, if you're a fan of classic films, Stanley Kubrick, this is a must have. Definitely upgrade your Blu-ray. This is a much improved picture and you're sticking with the same audio so you're not losing out on anything there. Um, but I, I would say for sure, trade that Blu-ray in, run out, Grab The Shining. This comes out on October 1st. So that is next um, Tuesday. Sorry. Next Tuesday. I'm shooting this the week before it comes out. So October 1st, Tuesday. You can find this in stores. Best Buy will have the steel book. Um, I'm also going to leave a link down in the description to uh, Amazon where you can pre-order this. And if you do order it through my link, it helps support my channel. Um, but yeah, that's it for the review. Definitely worth an upgrade. This is easily in contention for one of the best 4Ks this year. I thought it was really clean, really well done. Um, if you did enjoy the video, remember, please like, leave me a comment what you thought of The Shining or if you're planning on picking it up. And also remember to follow me on Instagram. Check out the links down in my description for different ways you can help support my channel. And, you know, just let me, you know, keep up the good work. Keep promoting my videos. I appreciate everybody who spreads the good word follows me on Instagram, um, says what's up, says I love your videos, all that stuff um, just keeps me motivated, keeps me going. So I appreciate all of it. Definitely thanks to Warner Brothers for sending me The Shining. Uh, grab yours on October 1st, and I will talk to you guys soon with more content coming very shortly.